Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, dear students. Yesterday we started with writing the six trigonometric ratios of a given angle. So we can see, we just give a quick look what we learned yesterday. Find the values of six trigonometric functions of the angle theta. Now, in this right triangle, this is the angle given theta. So the side opposite to the right angle is hypotenuse and the side opposite to this angle given angle theta is opposite. We can write it with O and the side between these two sides is called adjacent. And the six ratios we have sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. You can remember as O over H. And cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is A over H. And tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. The next three are the reciprocal of these three ones. So the first one is cosecant theta, which is hypotenuse over opposite, which is the reciprocal of sine. The next one is the reciprocal of cosine. Secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent theta is adjacent over opposite, which is the reciprocal of this statement. Okay. Now, let's do one example. In yesterday example, we have the simple cases. All the three sides of the triangle were given, but in this, today's lesson, one of the sides is missing. So to write the trigonometric ratios, first we have to find this side edge. For finding this one, we have Pythagoras theorem. I am re, uh, like, write, I, re, I have rewritten this formula according to my own things. So h is the hypotenuse so h square is the equal to sum of the square of these two sides any o square o square and a square just plug in the values here h we are going to find so h square equal to 3 square plus 4 square so h is a root of 29 25 so which is equal to 5 now Remember that if this side is missing, so you can rearrange this formula and write O square equal to H square minus A square. If A is, is missing, so write A square equal to H square minus O square. Now write the ratios normally. So you got the value of H which is 5. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, 3 over 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. And tangent theta is opposite over adjacent which is 3 over 4. Cosecant theta you can start from here even 5 over 3. And secant you can write here 5 over 4. And cotangent is 4 over 3. Or from the triangle even you write adjacent over opposite now we can find any missing side in a triangle using these trigonometric ratios so we will use only the first three sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent like in this triangle it's a right triangle one angle is given 30 degree and this side which is you should remember it is a facing 90 degrees so it is hypotenuse distance so we need to find this side x so now we have opposite and hypotenuse so look at the ratios which ratio gives us opposite and hypotenuse sine so sine is opposite over hypotenuse so right sine 30 is x over hypotenuse is 10. Now this 10 is in the denominator so you can cross multiply it here so the next statement would be x equal to 10 sine 30 which is equal to 5 centimeter. The next example here is like in this triangle the angle is given here so if the angle is given here where is the opposite is this opposite and adjacent would be this side and definitely hypotenuse always facing the 90 degree angle. So we are going to find the adjacent while the hypotenuse is given to us. So when you have given uh, adjacent and hypotenuse, which ratios we can use? Cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So write cosine 45 equals to y over 45. Uh, sorry, y over 15. So now cross multiply 15 on other side. So it will get y equals to 15 cosine 45, which is equal to 10.6. I rounded it to three significant figures so you can round to one decimal place. Last example. So we have like opposite and adjacent. 
So opposite is 10 and adjacent is A. So opposite and adjacent, the ratio connecting them is tangent theta. So tangent of this angle 60 equals to opposite over adjacent. So 10 60 equals to 10 over A. Now here the variable is in the denominator. So what you need to do to cross multiply here. So replace them. A will come here and 10 60 will come down here. So right 10 over 10 60 which is 5.77. So dear students you I'll be uploading one worksheet for you. So you need to do question number 1 till 5 you can retry and you should start from question number 6 to 10 and from the book even you go to chapter 12 12.1 and start solving the same type of question so from the textbook as well thank you very much have a good day assalamu alaikum